help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Good morning to all of you, and I thank you for coming and sharing our worship. Prior to the beginning of Holy Mass, let us offer a prayer, an act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask that you come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I will go unto the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will recite the act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one of the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to the merit of their own deeds. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glo glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, 
Almighty God and Father. We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have put us on this earth to bear one another's burdens and to share in one another's joys. May we who call ourselves Christian so follow the way of your Son that we may die to sin and live for righteousness. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. On this, the 22nd Sunday in the Ordinary, we take the first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and repro reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual for today. Truly, who is God except the Lord? But our God is the rock. This God has girt me with his might, keeping my way unerring. The Lord lives, blessed be the rock, exalted be God my Savior. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. 
Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, for you are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with the angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus be praised by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Last week, we read from the Gospel of Matthew, in which we hear of Peter proclaiming that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. God gave unto Peter the grace and the illumination to know Jesus as he truly was and is, the Messiah, the Anointed One, God's Word made flesh. This is God's gift that he gave unto Peter, and it is the gift of grace that God gives to each of us who truly seek the Lord. This week we continue to read from the Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Jesus, after telling Peter that he would build his church upon the rock of faith that Peter came to the realization of Jesus being the Christ. Jesus sets forth standards and conditions of what it truly means to be a disciple if we truly look, search, and choose to follow the Lord. This is the gift that God gave to Peter, and this are the, these are the conditions that Jesus states that it is through the grace of God that it brings about one's own salvation and redemption. To deny oneself. We look in our world, our society today, and there are so many people that are wrapped up into themselves who are self-centered, who are selfish, and who only care so many times for only themselves. But there are also many that we've seen who truly deny themselves, and they think about others before they think about themselves. Think 
of whenever there is a disaster, such as the wildfires in California, where stranger will help stranger and neighbor will help neighbor. This is what we are called upon if we choose to be righteous unto God. To deny oneself, to put others before oneself, to put God before our own needs and desires. Because there has to be a harmony in life. The scales must be just. Did not Jesus, upon give, being given a coin that bore the image of Caesar, Jesus said, those things that are Caesar's, but unto God those things that are God. To take up one's cross, is to make a sacrifice, to put God before oneself. And just as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ carried his own cross to his crucifixion, we too carry the cross to the time in which we will again be united with God. And so my dear brothers and sisters, Nothing comes for free. If we truly seek to be righteous, we need to listen to the words of the Lord, who gives us instruction as a teacher of what it takes to truly be his disciple. Paul, in today's letter to the Romans, speaks about presenting ourselves to God to offering ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing, which, Paul says, is our spiritual worship. There is a, one more condition that we read in Paul's letter. Paul says, don't be conformed to this age. Don't live by the world's standards because we will never be in a right standing before God if we seek to conform ourselves to a secular world, to a world in which there is no God. But Paul gives the instruction about renewing of one's mind, being able to discern what is the will of God. It is only in seeking God that we will know God, and we will know what is God's will for us in our lives. Paul says it is good, and it is pleasing, and it is perfect. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, may we, every day of our lives, be thankful for the blessings that the Lord has given unto us, and be transformed of the renewing of one's mind, of one's standards, of one's discipline, because it is the way of the cross in which we know God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, by whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. sisters that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God our Father this day. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious Father, accept this offering of bread and wine, which will become a pledge of our eternal salvation. Keep us ever mindful of the demands of your Son 
Whenever you call us to bear our cross, we ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your whore hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. He is Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his teaching and ministry, Jesus showed us how we are to live, giving our lives in service to you and to all people. Still hearing the word in our world today, we strive to follow his example and set our hearts on the whole world to come. Therefore, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating very humbly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. Let us remember in prayer today the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the homeless and the hungry, the unemployed, for all the victims of the wildfires in California, and all those who have suffered from Hurricane Laura. We also pray this day for all abused and neglected children in our world, for all victims of violence both here and abroad, for all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad, as well as all those who have suffered violence in their lives. And all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him 
to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that psalm moment, so great for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, All of you take and drink of this, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. May the commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in all of us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen.
Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray, Almighty God, by the power of this Holy Communion, may we willingly take up our cross and follow Christ and therefore find both peace and glory. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifices offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, the one worthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence. And the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being. And apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life. Life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John, sent by God, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who are begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, again, I wish to thank you for sharing today's Holy Mass. We will conclude this morning with offering a prayer for the living as well as for the deceased, especially being mindful today of the victims of the wildfires in California and those victims of Hurricane Laura. May we pray for one another, may we love one another, and learn to forgive one another. May God be with all of us until we meet again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May the light shine upon them. 
May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.